The Department of State Services, DSS, has denied attacking Omoyele Shori, the convener of Revolution Now, in court. And the International Day for the Fight Against Corruption is here again. How have we fared? Well, this is Plus Politics, and I am Mary Anna Cohn. As many have expressed displeasure over the arrest or re-arrest of Omoyele Shouri, the convener of Revolution Now protests, the Department of State Services have denied that its operative attempted to arrest Shouri in the courtroom, claiming that it was Shouri's supporters that mopped him in court. And also, while reacting to the situation, the president released a statement saying that the DSS does not necessarily need the permission of the presidency in all cases to carry out its responsibilities that are laid down in the Nigerian constitution. Joining us in the studio to discuss this, I have uh, Noble Obasi, he's a legal practitioner, and Smat Apejoye, uh, he's a political analyst. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Uncle. Interesting. Good evening. So, I I'm going to start with smart because uh, with noble, I beg your pardon, because it was your temple that was somewhat desecrated. Um, I had a former DSS director in the studio last week, and um, he tried to also paint that picture before this statement was released by the DSS that we should ask Falana who the man in a suit was. And he kept asking me in the video, don't I see him looking like a man who was posing for a picture? Did we, did we see guns? That the DSS was waiting outside. My, but my question again is, what happened within the court premises? How does that make the court look? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Marianne. So from, from the uh, various video clips which, we, which was circulated on, on the social media as regards the case of um, Mr. Moyele Shore. So what we saw from the video was that uh, there were people who were trying to hold uh, Mr. Moyele down, and there are people who were shouting that, no, you cannot take him. And then um, also at the same time, you know, we saw pandem uh, pandemonium in the court. And uh, the court is, is a temple of justice and is a place, is a, is a, is a place where uh, the sanctity is, is, of, is of unquestionable. I mean, you cannot just come into the court and desecrate it. And um, the court is one of why. So why the court is, is on seats? It is one of the places where an arrest cannot even be effected. So for individuals to, you know, um, want to even cause pandemonium, pandemonium or even um, issue an arrest in court, it's not. It's so that, that but the DSS appalling. is saying that it wasn't them. So my question is, who was it then? Okay, so from her. Uh, well, the, DS, the DSS is, uh, is uh, alleging that they, are, they were not uh, the individuals that, that did the arrest. Why the other party, you know, they are alleging that, no, it's the DSS, but however, they were in Mufti. So uh, we cannot for certainty, you know, um, uh, say that, okay, these are the parties that, you know, really uh, conducted the arrest. But what we know as at this point in time is that Mr. Amoyele Shor is still, was rearrested. Re yes. Uh, Mr. Smart. I'm sure you watched this with so much um, wonder, for want of a better word, when you saw all of this playing out on TV. What exactly came to mind with all of the statements, of course, also from the presidency saying that the DSS has the power or the right to do whatever they need to do as it, you know, it walks with the constitution as far as it does not bridge the constitution? First, the presidency was right when it says um, DSS does not need the permission of the presidency to arrest whoever they want to arrest and that Shore is of interest to the DSS as at that point in time. Perfect, they are right. You don't need the permission of the presidency or a governor or anybody to carry out an arrest. You are saddled with that responsibility. But in doing that, I'll give a good example. If today somebody has committed an offense and they are looking for that person, the person finds his way into the American embassy or any embassy whatsoever, you cannot arrest that person. If you are trying to arrest someone and you run into a court, you cannot go and arrest that person in the court. You understand? You will probably allow, the, the, there are ways, there are procedures to go, to follow. However, 
what happened was so was so was so diminished the status of the of the state security service. I don't know what is called DSS. But the, but the DSS, but the DSS has said that it wasn't them. They don't know who that man. So it was so. It, look in the first place. It was so glaring. Either you are saying it, it was so glaring that it was the SSS. Either you are talking about in the court, maybe in the hollow chamber itself, or outside the compound. It is still within the court premises. What you wait for? You see, I think they acted it, and they, they perhaps shot themselves on their foot. On the foot. What you do is that in such a situation, you don't even create, any, you don't even create an awareness. You station, you have somebody inside that will be following that you fo that that follows up. Yeah, it's about coming out now. It's going to it's going to enter this black car. You understand? It's going to, as it drives out of the gate, they will just block him. Say, this is an arrest warrant. Please, you have to come with us. If at that point, the, 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 the friends and family or supporters are now trying to stop them now, that's another offense. Mm -hmm. You are now obstructing justice. Mm -hmm. You are now resisting arrest. Mm -hmm. But that did not play. Right, we saw everything that happened. You see, and good, thank God for social media now. Thank God that with, with, your, with your telephone, you can do any recording. But again, you're not it supposed to so use glaring. your phones. You're not supposed to take pictures in a court. You see, of course, in the first place, you see, it is an illegality begetting an Correct illegality. Me if I'm wrong. Correct you understand? Well, it's an illegality. And again, there is nothing stop you from taking pictures in the court. There was nowhere. Perhaps because of our, because, okay. because of our, our, our form of system, you cannot record a judge while giving judgments. In other, in other countries, they do. The judge will be giving his judgment, and yet everybody is saying it. But here in Nigeria, while a court, while a judge is, you cannot, you cannot take the pic photograph of a judge sitting, you cannot, sitting in the court, you cannot take the picture of it, you cannot record the proceeding of a judge while, while there, except if the judge permits. Okay. You understand? Except so, but in most of, in, in most cases, you probably hear the voice and you don't see the you don't see the image. Uh, okay. okay. I, I want us to quickly go to a video clip of a conversation I had last weekend um, with a DSS former DSS director, uh, and what he had to say because he was, for him, he was saying that there was something in that video that seemed planned. So let's take a look. Maybe we two can tear it apart. Joining us live in the studio is a security expert, Mr. Dennis Amakri, to analyze this. Good morning. It's good to have you join us. Good morning. Uh, yes, so uh, it's scary to hear this. But again, I always like to poke holes in stories when I hear them, tear them apart, and then see if there be anything that... Um, the Yuletide season, we all know that we see all kinds of things. Petty theft, we see insecurity, we hear about, you know, ritual killings and all of that. Could this also be just one of those things, or is this something we should be really worried about? Well, uh, the whole um, alert is not designed to scare anybody. It's to make people be prepared, you know, um, of what is possibly going to happen. Um, uh, yeah, we know the Yuletide is usually filled with all kinds of uh, highway robberies and petty thefts and stuff like that, you know. But uh, this particular one uh, involves national security, whereby uh, certain people want to uh, make the country ungovernable because they feel that uh, things are not going the way they want it to go. So, yeah, the, the uh, state security service actually is coming up to... Uh, I like We're going to go back to that video. Uh, unfortunately, we put in the wrong one, and that's not the part. We want to go to the part where we were talking about the situation of the DSS in court. So this was about, that video is about the DSS's reports. Now, let's not forget the DSS released a report a day before this happened, saying that what? there were people who were planning a protest. Okay. There were people who were going to destabilize the peaceful coexistence of this country. Isn't it funny? The next day, the DSS is making headlines. In the first place, um, I read the DSS um, head of media um, statement. He tried to link the, his, um, the press statement to what happened in the court to the earlier statement the DSS, SSS have released saying that uh, some people are trying to create destabilization. They are marrying it up. In the first place, if some people are trying to create destabilization, go for them. If you have intelligence report, go for them. 
don't, don't miss. You see, if there's anybody creating tension in the nation now, it is the SSS. It is nobody. It is nobody. Because you did something that was very, very wrong. Even when, if, if they are saying it is, that it is not in the court premises, we had Falano say, can you please go out of the court, that you cannot effect an arrest in the court premises. Was that, those he was talking to, we all saw it, except if we are all blind, that we now say, oh, those, those, those guys wearing, in the first place, some of the things that we even see these days, they are absurd. We don't, so, sometimes DSS will be in your midst. You won't know that a DSS man is in your midst. But now, with the, way they, with the way they will show off, with the way they will carry their vest, they will wear their vest, wear this thing. One of the, I mean, all these things are, is just the correct, on, is, the correct so, video on. But one, so of the, one of the cases that the former director of the DSS was making was that that man in a suit could have been a lawyer, he could have been anybody, but that the DSS would only come to a court dressed in their gear. But you're making a different statement here, saying you that... See, if the SS come to the court, what do they want to do in the courts? In the first place, what are, what, why have you come to the to a court with, uh, with, with, with gun, dressed? What, what do you have to do? The moment you bring in an accused, whatever, into a court, you step back. Yes, it was in their custody. They brought him in. So they will stay back, and they will, they, they will be on guard. Of course, it will, not, it will not disappear. It will not jump fence. It will not do anything. There are, there are, you see, there are, what we, there are standard procedures. And if you, if you don't follow the standard procedure, you will have problem. That was exactly what happened in court on Friday. It is unfortunate the way everybody is going about it. And besides that, we should not trivialize this thing. We should not politicize it. This, is, this has nothing to do with APC. It has nothing to do with PDP. It is purely a national matter that should be addressed. And thank you. I like what Professor Sage said. For once, he impressed me of late. Professor Sage made a statement. He said, for goodness sake, he wants to, see the, he wants to know the reason why Shigure was being arrested, was being rearrested. He said, because it, was, it a state, was it as a result of the statement he made? Thereafter, he was, he was released within that night and the morning that has warranted another form of arrest, or what? He said, because he said, look, they should, do the, they, they should do the normal thing. For goodness sake, the DSS is just trying to make Shewere more popular. As far as I'm concerned, in the first place, there shouldn't have been an arrest. First. Well, I had some lawyers in the studio, which Noble is going to also um, help me out with. Um, they said, and correct me if I'm wrong, that his bail expired the day that he was released due to maybe the time that had passed while he was still held down by the DSS, even after several calls for him to be released. And so the proper thing to do, which the DSS did, was to come back to rearrest him because his bail, the bail, that particular bail had expired. Now, I don't know how the court works. Okay. So I, don't, I, don't, I would not think that that was what it meant. Because they, 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 they would mean that... Um, uh, do bails certain... have a lifeline? Uh, no, bail doesn't have a life. Okay, so someone that's on, on, on bail, okay, the, the bail goes all through the process until perhaps uh, one of the conditions which the bail was granted is being... Um, is being um, vitiated. Yeah, vitiated. Thank you very much. It's being vitiated. So I think DSS, um, DSS argument was that he uh, broke one of the conditions for his bail and that's the reason why they had to... We arrest him. Well, so, according so, to them, he was meeting with people. Exactly. So it's one of the conditions. It's one of the conditions on which the bill was granted. Because I, I, I'm, I'm thinking that the bill was granted based on the fact that they informed him that you should not uh, have and you should not like perhaps have like a press conference or address a group of people concerning the matter. So it, it, yes. So perhaps he breached uh, from from DSS point of view. They are led that he breached one of the conditions of his bill. Which was the reason why the bill was revoked. Well, in law, if you if if, it, if when bill is being granted, so there are conditions. So if you breach any of the conditions, the bill is automatically revoked. So that is the DSS argument. And for me, they said um, he had um, he addressed some group of people um, at his hotel at Transcorp uh, um, Trans Hotel. Yeah. The, uh, the night he was released, and uh, that they said it's based on the. Uh, address on the, on the address he had with his group of people they made the rearrest i mean i don't think that should i don't think that should occur i mean dss you see to be honest with you first of all what they did in court okay so if it's a 
established that BSS did that in court. It's wrong have been issue. Because you're not supposed to, you know, uh, issue an arrest in court. It's wrong. But the me. DSS is still saying they didn't. You wanted to say something. As far as I'm concerned, the DSS have no... You see, it, 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 it just shows the lawlessness of anybody, of uh, uh, people in power. Even up to the extent of a local government chairman, they will commit an offence. They don't see it as an offence, and they, it, they find it difficult to say, I am sorry, or we are sorry. What, I could have, what could have been more credible is somebody, even though if they, if they genuinely want to arrest him, but because the DSS has, has acted abnormally, what they could have just done is to look, allow the bail term to, to remain. I know, I know, Oshore, that guy will always, be, will always run contrary to the law, as far as I'm concerned. Because, of course, the moment a case is in court, you don't discuss about it again. Okay. There are some things that that it might, it might it might have, which I don't. The DSS might have a, but they have gone about it in a wrong way. All they could have done is to go back to the court and ask for the for the bail condition to be revoked because you have done this and because you are alleging you must prove. You understand? Because you are alleging you must prove. So there is nothing. That was my, what my I next expect question. The DSS to Who have has been, proof of this? Nobody, that nobody he had because there has to be proof and it has to be shown in court beyond reasonable doubt that he had been in cohorts with people or he was having secret nobody, meetings according nobody. to them. So they, they, they are, if they are coming up with that now, that's what we will say probably medicine after death. You've done the wrong thing before. So for now, what the DSS should do is that they should bury their head in shame and release that guy, let him go. Unfortunately, wait that's until, not happening. Wait until the February date. And come up with an evidence, sir. We are revoking, we are revoking this um, because this is an evidence that this guy did this. And before then, you could probably start flying it. Okay, let's go back to what the DSS said. Now they said that, and I quote: "It may be recalled that the service had, on the third of December, twenty nineteen, raised alarm about a plot to destabilize the country. It is quite remarkable that the plot has already started playing out. To ensure this objective is achieved, some persons and groups." Uh, are scoring to seize the opportunity of misleading the court incident and wrong narrative against the DSS to organize insurrection in the country. And they go ahead to say, for emphasis, it should be noted that Shoare is facing trial not as an activist, journalist, or politician, but for his resort to call for violence and a forceful takeover of government. I want to talk about that. I agree. I agree with that aspect. I want to I talk agree. about that part. Honestly, I agree with the DSS. They have not arrested him because he ran and lost a presidential, a presidential election with Mr. President. They have not arrested him because he's an activist. They have not arrested him quite now. Before, the, before he was arrested in June or July, when I saw his, his utterances, before, I said, I said who, who the hell is this guy, for goodness sake? I said, this is wrong. You cannot start saying that to, to hell with this, to that. I mean, for goodness sake, comport yourself. Shawara is very, very brilliant, very, very sound. But you see, when you now throw norms into the wind, for goodness sake, you, look, you are bound to be arrested. But however, you understand, I agree with the DSS that it is not because, if it is because of his an activist, so most, most of us that are activists, we say, we say things, we, 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 we show our grievances, but we show it in the civilized way, and we've not been arrested. Out of okay, curiosity, me... is, Shore, is a Shore capable of um, unseating a government, of building an army, you according see, to the DSS? You might not, you might not be, you might, you, might not be uh, you, you might not have the arms, but sometimes your utterances again can incite people against the government. That utterance, look, as far as I'm concerned, let, if you have it, play it again. She will raise all chances before his arrest. We are not guided. In all honesty, well, we are not guided. But however, the, what the government should have done is that, look, there are too much tension in the, in the land. Let me tell you what for, for attention. When you say that, when people are going through abject poverty. People are suffering. Mass unemployment, this, that. So, don't, don't, you see, it's just like uh, 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 you want to ignite uh, uh, fire to uh, uh, an inflamed uh, area. You have to be careful. What the government should have just done, well, they, they, should, they, they will condemn what Shawaria have said, 
perhaps put him under radar, under closed wash, and just said, well, for whatever you have said, we have listened to you and we heard you clearly. This is a government that came in and we are striving to ensure that the dividend of democracy, the reason why we were, where we were elected, is being achieved. We have not come to, suffer, to make the people suffer the more. We have not come to distribute poverty. We have come to do this, we have come to do this. And that, that is, this informed. Now, choose that, now use that, that uh, opportunity to marshal out some of the things you have put in place to ameliorate the suffering of the people. But this, you didn't do that now. This is what you expect. As this is what I expect. I suppose to what has been. Has, yes. has there been an antecedent under this administration where stuff like what you were referring to has ever happened? Well, yes. Like um, th this one organized by, uh, is it Two-Face or whoever? Who, 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 this one yeah, has Two-Face. Two -face. Uh, what did one they, What did the uh, vice president said? Vice president said, look, we had you clean and clear. Two-Face stepped down two oh. days before that mm. protest. But either, didn't either, go either Two-Face so. stepped down or not. He said, all the allegations that there was a threat to his life. Either stepped down or not, the, 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 uh, the, the, the demonstration took place. I was there. And nobody harassed me. We saw policemen there, we saw soldiers, we saw DSS, nobody were harassed. So, so the, the fact is that, so because they've not, and the, what the vice president said, Mr. Vice, vice president said, we had you clearly. Thank you, sir. If I can come in um, on that. So, from the DSS point of view, uh, they, they don't want a situation where an individual would uh, you know, make any unguided statement. Because if you make an unguided statement and uh, it's not curtailed, uh, it could lead to another individual making similar, similar and statements. This is, and, and you think that this is a practice worldwide because, you know, the okay, Secret so, Service is supposed to pick up people who say things against the government or could ignite some form of insurrection? Yes, well, I think uh, in, in, in other advanced countries, so I don't think anyone would make um, uh, inciting comments against the government and the government would, not, would just sit down uh, and not do anything to such individual. No way. They would have to, at some point, you know, perhaps arrange for uh, a meeting with the individual to, you know, uh, know uh, the, the motive behind those comments or perhaps put the individual under secret radar. But, but then I, I, get, I get the SS, you know, point of view about uh, trying to, you know, arrest Joe I mean, if anyone makes uh, any any statement that uh, that you know might um, uh, conflagrate the co that conflagrate the co the country, I think it's okay if DSS goes to you know have a meeting with the person. But the, the DSS should do it in the appropriate way, in the appropriate channel. So you cannot command you know uh, be coercive in the way you approach individuals just because they made statements. Okay, so even if you are issuing arrest, there are proper ways whereby you could issue arrest. You investigate, and if you find the person wanting, then you can issue arrest. All right, in closing, we have just less than 50 seconds. The US is now involved. The center, they put out a statement, a senator and the wife of Shuri, there was a video that you know was put out there. And they said some things about how Shuri was treated and that the fact that they're watching. And we all know that the whole world is watching. Going, moving on from now, do you think that maybe the DSS has learned something from this, the government has learned something from this, and they might try to quell this, or are we still going to see some form of high-handedness? You see, I, 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 as far as I'm concerned, you will, I will still see, we will still see some high-handedness from our security operatives. It's just that they've never learned. Something similar like this happened during the Babangida administration where they were going to arrest um, Debo Bashan the um, former spokesperson for uh, for this for Babangida, he made some unguided statements, and he was in court premises. They were waiting for him. They were waiting for him along the line. They find his way to escape, and he escaped through I think some of their their popular Nadeko routes. But however, what I expect, you see, in as much as I commend these guys doing this job. Most of our security, either the SSS, the police, the soldiers, I commend them because they are working under a very serious and hazard condition. These people are not well motivated. They are not, forget all these things that you see, that you see them doing this. They are not well motivated. If you go, if you go closer to them, you see that they are suffering. They are also part of Nigeria. But because they have to do their job, you understand? You see them do all, all sorts of the things that, that, that they do. They are part of the country. They are not isolated. Okay. They have children. 
they have children, they have family that okay. attend the same school where, where children sit down on the floor. Go and look at their salary package. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, we, we're not talking about their welfare today, but we know it applies finally. Last words. Okay, so I, I, would, um, I want to see a, a kind of uh, you know, radical change from the security operative because the international uh, organization, the international community, is, uh, they've been their torchlights on Nigeria. And I think it's something which the federal government needs to take serious. You know, they need to you know, go back to the drawing board and um, you know, see a way of uh, perhaps speaking to the head of these uh, security agencies you know, to make sure they are rule of law compliant. All right. I want to say thank you to uh, Noble Abasi and Smart Apejoye. But they're not going anywhere. We'll take a short break. And when we come back, we'll be talking about Nigeria's fight against corruption. The world all over today is uh, celebrating anti-corruption and, of course, the fight against corruption. Stay with us when we come back. We'll talk more.